Cancers! Welcome to the first half of November love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Cancers, um, you're about to take a risk on something. You or someone you're connecting to, okay? Um, definitely about to take a risk on something, walking a lot more confident, a lot like taller, stronger, straighter, got a little bit more just confidence even just in your stride. People can see it physically. However, don't mind the scratching. Um, as I was tapping into your energy, Cancer, I honestly got flushed with like almost like an allergic reaction as I was tapping into your energy. Um, so Cancer, uh, some of you could be uh, very anxious about, about whatever it is you're about to take a risk on, but you're still confident. It's like you're not letting the anxiety show through. It's like you're I like I'm trying so hard not to itch my face. I actually had to wash my face cancer because <laughs> my face got all itchy and hot. Like I was getting hives and I was like, I was like, oh my God, what the hell's going on here? So cancer, some of you guys can be having an allergic reaction, but I really feel like it's from anxiety. Uh, sometimes you can get hives from stress. Um, some of you are definitely experiencing that, but keep in mind cancer, it's just what I was picking up on intuitively. So it could be someone else that you're connecting to, or it could be, excuse me, or it could be vice versa. It could be someone who's you know, wanting to take a risk towards you or with you, um, and they're having this anxiety. But regardless of the anxiety, someone's just showing confidence, okay? Someone's just showing confidence and doing what they got to do. Um, it's really exciting. It feels very uh, pentacle related. So it could be in their career environment um, or the career field. Sorry, I'm trying again. Try not to itch my face. Hmm. I'm hoping that this reaction goes away, okay? Very itchy, very itchy. Um, but Cancer, you are excited to do it. You're more, more restless than excited because it's anxiety. Yeah, you're more restless to do this. You're more restless to get this started or dive into it, whatever it is, Cancer. Um, and I do feel like you're you're walking into much happier times, much more um, stable times as well, much more stable times here, okay? It feels really positive. It feels really positive. And Cancers, I know you've kind of been in a rough place recently, or at least the Cancers I've been tapped into have been kind of a darker, rough place. This feels very promising, Okay. But it is requiring a risk. Even if it makes you hella nervous, you're doing it anyway. Okay? <laughs> you're doing it anyway. Okay, Cancer. So let's go ahead and get the pre-shuffle going. Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Regarding love, I'm using the Santa Muerte deck. If anybody's curious, my ears are on fire. Trying, not going to touch them. I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to touch them. Please bring forth any messages of true healing and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November regarding love. Oh, okay. I have to. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to put ice cubes on my ears right now. It was my whole face. Like, and honestly, Cancer, it was when I tapped into your energy. So I did take Benadryl. Um, I plan to do fire signs today, too. Although Benadryl knocks me out. So we'll see. We'll see if I get to this. All right, please record messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please record messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. I'm um, seeing stables. Oh, that's interesting. I'm seeing stables like a barn and a farm. Maybe you guys are on a ranch, or maybe you guys are, you know. That's your thing. That's your dream home. I'm seeing stables, though. Um, why do I feel like these are options? Okay, this is interesting. Cancer, I feel like you've had options in your back pocket. Okay? You've had some options locked away, stored away, put on ice, whatever. But they're showing me stables. Like, maintain. thank you, maintaining. Maintaining options? Okay, interesting. <laughs> spirit, you're funny. Uh, spirit's so funny. I just heard stallions. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, Cancer. Just saying. Stallions. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling options. I'm feeling options for sure. Please bring forward messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Ah, the fool card. What did I say? You got to take a risk on something, Cancer. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Definitely taking that leap of faith, taking that risk into the unknown. It's not really unknown for you, though, Cancer. Especially for those of you who got options in your back pocket or options that you're maintaining or stallions you're maintaining, whatever. Do you, Cancer? Do you? Um, but you know you have to take a risk towards something. And it's towards happiness. It's definitely towards happiness. It's towards freedom. It's towards freedom. It's towards a better time. 
Please bring forward messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November regarding love. Cancer, I'm loving this energy. It's, it's not that you feel new. You're just kind of fortified a little bit. You're just a little bit stronger. Just a little bit stronger. Oh my God, that just reminded me of the country song. A little bit stronger. That's more sad though. That's more sad. But actually, nope, nope. Okay, okay. You guys want to might want to listen to that, especially if the most recent uh, cancer readings have been resonating with you or like cancers have been going through a bit of a dark time, a tough time. You might want to listen to that song. You might want to listen to that song. Who sings that? I can't remember the artist's name. It's not Sarah Lee. I can't remember the artist's name. I can't, but a little bit stronger country song. You'll find it on Google. Okay. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November regarding love. Please record messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just heard right hand man, right hand man. You could have a guide that's helping you right now. You could be divinely guided to taking this risk, Cancer. Um, others of you could be signing up business deals to have a partner, like a business partner, or just feeling like you're relying on your bestie right now. Right hand man came forward. Uh, four Pentacles. Wow, Capricorn energy. I always, <laughs> I always love this illustration of the Four Pentacles. It just kind of cracks me up because it's just like this giant hand. Like, oh, come back. It's like this giant person in hand, like messing with people. I'm sorry. It just kind of cracks me up a little bit. I know they're supposed to be dolls, but it does kind of crack me up a little bit. Four of Pentacles is uh, power. It's control. It's holding back. It could also be saving money here. Cancer, you could have been saving money for whatever risk you're jumping into. You could be jumping into an investment here. Whatever it is, I feel like you're keeping it close to your chest, just like your options, okay? <laughs> just like your options that you're maintaining, Cancer. That's definitely for someone out there. That ain't for everybody. You know who you are, obviously. Um, but yeah, I feel like whatever this risk is, you're keeping it close to your heart. And I feel like you've been um, really hesitant to kind of take this risk, which is why you've been maintaining your options. And it's kind of like the time is now. Cancer, the time is now. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for cancer. Wow, Ten of Cups in reverse, uh, Piscean energy. I just heard Capricorn again. Um, cancer, the more you hold back in going for this risk, the the, the more unhappy you're going to be, okay? Because it, it's like you know cancer. You know. You know taking this risk is going to lead you to happiness. And right now you don't have it because you're holding back on... It's almost like you're holding back on picking an option, which is interesting. You're either holding back on picking an option or just taking a risk in general. For some, like I said, it's a financial risk. Others, it's definitely towards a person of interest. Um, but you're chasing your happy and you don't have it because you're holding back. You already know what's required of you. It's just a matter of, for those who have options, it's just a matter of picking one. It's just a matter of picking one, okay? For those who've just been considering this for a long time, you've been going through a dark period, it's just working through any last bits of stuff you have to work through. Uh, to reach that level of confidence, okay, that level of confidence to go for whatever it is, it's going to make you happy. Oh, that's a lot of cards that just came out. Ooh, we've got the Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy with the Three of Pentacles, Cappy energy. Ooh, and then we have Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Um, hmm, Cancer, someone wants to work with you, someone wants to build with you. Yeah, whoever needs, okay, that's what this is. Whoever needs to take this risk has been holding back maintaining options and holding back well someone's kind of been waiting like hey are we going to do this or not are we going to start building or not and the fact that it hasn't happened yet justice in reverse this empress is getting more and more annoyed as days go by okay keep in mind guys it's energy so it's a feminine energy but it can also be a man okay it doesn't have to be a female but yeah whoever needs to take this risk cancer i do feel like it's you and it can be vice versa so if it's vice versa then you know Decide who you are in this story here. Um, but whoever needs to take this risk, some of these people who need to take this risk have options. They need to pick one. They're holding back. And because they're holding back, there's not a whole lot of happiness happening here. While we have an empress who's waiting for this person to jump in, essentially to jump in and build with this empress. And because it ain't happening yet, justice in reverse. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead, Cancer, and get into your reading here. For those who are who are doing... Mm. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if it's not your message, it's not your message, and that's okay. Don't throw hate, don't throw shade, okay? Okay. Uh, there are plenty of other readers on YouTube that are fabulous, so please go and check them out if you are not resonating with me. 
like I said, energies uh, are, can be reversed. So even if it's even if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, just switch them. It's just energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine, feminine energy. We read energy, not gender. And this is for the time frame of the first half of November. But whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch a reading. Okay? My face is getting itchy again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i'm surprised my face isn't all red but i'm like that's kind of how i know it's not like a true allergic reaction it's whatever i'm picking up on you cancer it's whatever i'm picking up on you okay uh, you know and sometimes you know as far as like spirituality is concerned with like major allergic reactions uh it could also be about things that we are like holding back or things that we're not addressing that we need to address um in a very you know obviously an extreme sort of a way but just keep that in mind cancer okay any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of november any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of november any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of november okay there we go oh my alarm is going off and it's just bugging me because I can see it. I know you guys can't see it. But I'm like, if I hit dismiss, will it mess with the video? I got to find out. It's bugging me. Sorry. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, we're good. Okay. I'm back, Cancer. Hi. Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Cancer? Ooh, two of cups in reverse, can't Syrian energy. Soma energy, of course. Oh, ah, I feel a ripping. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Um, it's almost like an energetic ripping. It's kind of, it's like, oh, it's like, it's making me like want to pull back. Um, I feel an energetic ripping between two people. It feels painful though. It's like, it's almost like it can actually be felt energetically or in the heart heart space in the solar heart space in the solar i mean i get i guess that's like that's heartbreak right yeah i mean i guess that is i mean i i've experienced heartbreak but you know it's been a while and it's not something you dwell on right <laughs> it's not something you try to remember every day anyway any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of november any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of november any messages for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November? We got the Three of Pentacles again, Capricorn energy. Yep. And then we've got the Ace of Wands. Yeah. So someone really wants to come together here, Cancer. Someone really wants to come together. Someone really wants to build very, like, and a lot of, a lot of persistence, like just pure motivation of, no, I need, I, like, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is what I want. This is my biggest desire. I want to work with you. I want to build with you. I want to be on the same page with you. Let's do this together. Let's do this together. Why does that feel like a song? Let's do this together. But what comes before that is a ripping. A ripping of sorts. A ripping away. For some, it is heartache. For some, it's definitely heartache here. All right. Let's see what else we got here. This could definitely be a reconciliation here. Others, it's just a repairing. Yeah, for some, this is a reconciliation, but others, it's a repairing of sorts. God, whatever. What, I know, I'm sorry. I'm harping on this a little bit, but this ripping feels so weird. It's like, mm, it feels just so awful from both ends of it. Yeah, it just feels awful on both ends of it. It's almost like, Oh God, I, I wish I had the words. I don't have the words. I don't have the words to describe this. I really don't. But for some, it's just a repair. It's just a repair of what's been ripped. Some trust has been broken. Some trust has been broken here for some people. Okay, some trust has been broken. Ah, getting a download. Um, Cancer, whoever this is that you're connecting with, where there's a desire to build, whether that's desires from you or this person, um, it, seem, it seems like something did come between the two of you. Where maybe it might have been an external force of some kind. And that could be anything, you know, that could be um that could be a job came between you, it could be distance came between you, it could be another person, it could be family, it could be beliefs. Like for some of you, something external to the both of you came between you, and it's almost like there was no choice. It's almost like there was no choice in the matter. It was just like, what could we do? But someone wants to repair it. Okay. 
Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November? <laughs> Can you tell I'm blind? <laughs> Three of Swords in reverse. Libra energy here. Healing. Yeah, someone wants to fix this. Cancer, someone wants to fix this. Someone wants to heal. Someone wants to... <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I've been drinking a lot of these lately. They're medicine balls, if anybody's curious. They're really awesome if you're having any um throat issues. Mm -hmm. Or even asthma. Anyway. So yeah, Cancer, someone wants to stitch. I'm getting stitch. Someone wants to stitch this. I don't, I, uh, God, I wish I had the words to explain more of this energy that I'm picking up from this. It's just so, feels so strange. <clears throat> it's almost like a zipper. That's probably the best way to say this. <clears throat> it's almost like a zipper, like on a hoodie where it's like, you can, you know, you can unzip, you can zip it back up, you can unzip, you can zip it back up. It's like, it just perfectly meshes. I guess that's why it feels so weird to me. It's like something that is just like, it just goes. It just goes together. Oh, that sounds so cheesy. But yeah, that's exactly how it feels. It's like you can you can unzip it and keep it all like separate and open as long as you want. But at the end of the day, it's meant to come together. It's meant to mesh together. Yeah, someone just really wants to fix this. Someone really wants to fix this. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer regarding love for the first half of November? Wow, that's it, cancer. Overall energy. Oh, we got the eight of wands. Sag energy, travel, movement, communication. Let's move this shit forward. Someone's very determined, cancer. And like I said, I feel like it was you, but it can be vice versa. Someone's walking very confidently, very tall. They have a hell of a lot of anxiety, but they're not showing it. They're not letting that override them. They want this fixed. They want the zipper zipped, okay? They want the zipper zipped. Underneath that, we do have four of cups. Cancerian energy, and then we have Ten of Wands, Sag energy. The weight of regret is actually what I'm getting. The weight of regret. For some, there was rejection here, Cancer, where maybe one person rejected the other, and then they're like, oh, shit. No, no, no. Can't have that. Oh, no, we actually do belong together. It's that kind of energy. But more than anything, I feel regret, the burden of regret. The weight of it is just too much for someone. It's too much for someone, and someone's about to talk. Whether that's you, Cancer, or someone else. And I, I keep getting travel as well. Travel could definitely be a part of this, okay? Also, Eight of Wands is indicative of online messages or text messages. So just keep that in mind. That's how most people communicate anyway these days. But, you know, just pointing that out. So let's look at this unzipped connection. <laughs> like, but yeah, that's like that. Like, zipper is like the best way to describe that. The unzipped connection here. Um, Excuse me. What deck do I want to use? Um, kind of tired of using these decks. I get tired of decks very easily. I don't mean to. I just do. Let's do let's do crystal visions. Let's do crystal visions. I have a two of cups in reverse for Cancer. I have a two of cups in reverse for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. I have a two of cups in reverse. For cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Two of cups in reverse. For cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Okay, face is getting itchy again. So I have two of cups in reverse for cancer regarding. Ooh, ow! Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water here yeah someone cut this connection someone cut this connection it's like why do i feel like it was like not in the right state of mind though um there is something clouded about this person's judgment at the time is what i'm getting yeah something was clouded about their judgment eight of cups on the bottom whoever cut this connection initially i hate to say this but it's almost like they thought they could have better or they thought that yeah yeah, there's not another way to say that, is there? They thought they could have better. They thought they could have better, but clearly they were not in their right state of mind with the Queen of Swords in reverse. They didn't realize it was a zipper. <laughs> it's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> Time with two of cups in reverse for Cancer. Eight of Wands. Wow, Sag energy. Again, travel, movement, communication. Did someone... 
they did this very quickly. Whoever cut this connection, they did it very quickly. Very unexpected. I feel like the other party didn't expect it. So I went... Ooh, whoa, six of cups, scorpionic energy. Uh, could also be past life soulmate karmic energy. It's also an energy of family, um, nostalgia. So, you know, the, the butterflies, the warm and fuzzies, the warm and fuzzies. Um, this could, again, this could have been a soulmate of yours without a doubt. Cancer. Does someone head to their past? Yeah. For some, this person who unzipped this connection went back to their past, okay? For some, not for all. So I have the two of cups in reverse for Cancer. So I'm about two of cups in reverse for cancer regarding love for the first half of November. So I'm about the two of cups in reverse. Oh, shit. Someone is dying to talk. I'm like, God, I can't believe how itchy I am. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Someone really, really wants to freaking talk here, cancer. Um, whether it's you or this other person, I'm getting more of like, this person can't stop thinking about, oh, geez. This person can't stop thinking about how they unzipped this connection. For some, they went back to the past in order to, um, they went back to the past after unzipping this connection. Others, it's just that communication and quick dip out with you, a soulmate energy, or you did this to a soulmate here. But look at this. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy with the Magician, Mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio, for me as a reader with a Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. If they went to the past, they are unhappy. Okay, if this person went back to the, whoever they were dealing with before, not very happy about it. But I'm also getting that. Oh, sorry, Jesus. I'm trying not to get distracted, guys. I'm sorry. Hang it, hang in there with me. Um, I'm also getting that intense desire to become happy again with a soulmate, with someone that's you know a perfect match. Zipper. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's cute. It's just freaking cute. Overall energy, we do have the four of wands, Aries energy, commitments and foundations. This person regrets what they did. This person regrets it. Someone definitely cut this connection out at, in some manner, energetically, physically. They, they unzipped the hoodie. And it's so weird for me to say that they cut the connection because it's like, even if you unzip a hoodie, those two pieces are still there. You know, those two pieces are still there. It's not like they could ever be like on opposite ends of the room. You know, it's still on that hoodie. I know it's like such a weird analogy. I don't know another way to describe this of what I'm getting. But even though this person opened the hoodie and separated the zipper, it's like, you can't really separate this. You can't truly separate like these two energies. And someone's realizing that. Again, for some, they went back to the past realized they were unhappy and it was like holy shit like I don't want to be here I need to go back and fix things the burden of this regret is just too much I need to talk to cancer or cancer you need to talk to someone there's just so much love here that's what's killing me a little bit with this like there's so much love here and such a want for stability and a foundation and we have the four ones and two eight of wands there's, that's a lot of fast uh, movement there. That's a doubling rate of energy. When this conversation takes place, because there will be a conversation without a doubt, because someone really wants this. Someone really wants this. Someone's determined and someone's going to make it happen. Cancer, whether you or someone else you're connecting with. And when that conversation takes place, things are going to take off quickly, very quickly. Okay. So let's look at the Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. More curious about the Three of Pentacles. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... We'll do the Honest Truth deck. Talk about the Three of Pentacles for Cancer. Talk about the Three of Pentacles for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Talk about the Three of Pentacles for Cancer regarding love uh, for the first half of November. Do I have a peeker in here? Hold on. I think I saw one. Oh, how funny. Huh. A card from the Norman deck was stuck in there. Ooh, a stork. Fertility, nesting, queen of cups energy, all that yumminess. I'm going to put it back though. I'm not going to keep it out here. Didn't feel right. Anyway. Time of the three of pentacles. Time of the three of pentacles for cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Ay, ay, ay. All right, Moon Universe, Piscean Energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. 
Two of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, Jesus, and Page of Wands in reverse. Uh, Page of Wands in reverse is my bad news card. It's my bad news card. And Two of Wands in reverse, it's like it's making a choice, making a decision here. What's come to light is someone made a choice and it wasn't exactly the greatest decision. Yeah. Someone made a choice and it's bad news to somebody. Bad news to somebody. Let's see what else wants to come out here. Some of the Three of Pentacles for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Some of the Three of Pentacles for Cancer regarding love. Come on. Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. So trying to get over this bad news. Some of the Three of Pentacles for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. <laughs> oh, shit. I... Two of Cups. Cancerian energy with the freaking Ten of Cups, man. The zipper. <laughs> That's really how it feels. The zipper connection. We'll just call this the zipper connection. I actually really like that. Hold on. Let me write that down because I will forget. Give me a second. I don't want to spill that everywhere. Okay. The zipper connection. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> two of cups and ten of cups. Two the ten minus the two is the eight of cups. Someone left something behind to walk towards this or wants to leave something behind to walk towards this. Cancer, I really feel like someone, again, unzipped this connection to head towards their past and they realize, oh shit, I ain't happy here. I'm not happy here. I'm not happy here. I need to go where I'm happy, which is walking back to what they left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh God. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Overall energy, full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card taking that leap of faith that needs to be taken here. Okay. Again, whoever needs to take this leap of faith, there's an Empress energy already waiting for you to do this. Okay, whoever needs to take this leap. But Fool in Reverse, hesitant. Hesitant to take it. Why is there hesitancy? I feel like it has to do with this bad news. Because whatever this bad news is, it's basically someone who made a choice. Someone made a choice and it was bad news to somebody. And now there's an energy of like, I can get over that. Let me get over that. And then head back towards my happiness. So let's look at the Page of Wands in Reverse. Let me use Lenormand deck for this one. So now the Page of Wands in Reverse. What's this bad news? <laughs> news the letter seven of swords 27 breaking down to a nine completion so there was a message of some kind that was delivered we already knew that what's this bad news about some of the page of wands in a verse so i about this page of wands in a verse so i the page Wow. Okay. So messenger, nine of cups, energy of one. This is someone on the move, someone on the go to deliver a message, quite literally someone delivering a message. Can even be like a letter or an email here. House, energy of four with the king of cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. This is about someone's... Mm. Home is like domestic it's domestic energy. This could have been something actually delivered to someone's home or someone could have showed up at someone's home to deliver a message. Yeah, I'm actually thinking it's more of the latter. Something or someone came to your door or came to this person's door. They found out at home. Thank you, spirit. They found out at home. Whatever this bad news is, it was found out while someone was at home. And it's about someone who made a decision. Talk about page of wands in reverse. Talk about page of wands in reverse for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. One other card. The heart. It's about love. Yeah. Okay. Knight of Cups. Uh, 24 breaking down to a six here. On the bottom, we have the moon. Not surprising there. Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Oh, Jesus. I just dropped the whole deck. <laughs> Hold on. How did I do that? I'll put this over here. The Eight of Cups energy I was feeling with this. Someone definitely had to leave something behind to walk towards something else. And the moon is exactly how it sounds. It's like it's basically the same thing as it is in tarot, except it's also an, a work a work component as well. For some, it can mean work. Others, it's intuition and emotion and all those other things and illusion, all of that. 
this is so interesting. Whatever this message is, it's about love. It's about love and leaving something or someone behind to go towards happiness. To go towards happiness. Yeah. So Cancer, again, just to paraphrase, I know it's not like a broken record. I don't need to hear y'all say that. I know it's not like a broken record. It's so you guys can actually get the message and have it cement in your brain here, okay? Whoever unzipped this connection, I feel like did go towards their past and realized how unhappy they were doing that, going back to their past. I just heard get, getting stuck in the past as well. And this news, I think the news about that choice of going to the past, whatever decision was made, um, someone found out while they were at home. Okay, someone found out while they were at home. And in the midst of this, this person who's realizing how unhappy they are, they're like, shit, I need to go to where I'm happy. I need to go back to where I'm unhappy. I need to go to my zipper connection. I need to go back to my zipper connection. And I feel like there's been a lot of confusion in the midst of this, which is why I think there's the moon card here. Because there hasn't been clear communication. There hasn't been clear communication. As this person was, you know, ping-ponging back and forth between people, it's like, I feel like people were left in the dark. You know, it's like, this person got their news at home, but it's like, they didn't know what was going on in the midst of this. They didn't know what was going on in the meantime. And if someone back to their past, it's like, there's essentially three people involved and someone's really regretting doing that. Someone's really regretting doing that. What a mess. Okay. Three of swords in a verse. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Either way, someone's heading back to their zipper connection. Okay. Because that's where happiness is. That's where the heart lies. And it feels very homey, very cozy. It does feel very homey and very cozy. So let's look at three of swords in a verse. Um, we'll do right away. We haven't used right away yet. So three of swords in a verse. Which could also be ending of third parties, by the way. Just saying. Let's talk about three of swords in a verse. three of swords in reverse i feel a major long desire for this connection though like there's just so much freaking love i can feel it i can see it there's so much love in this again zipper this zipper connection mm. no wonder it felt so awful all right so i'm gonna throw swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Karma Three of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Karma Three of Swords in reverse. Oh, wow. Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy with the, excuse me, Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Could also be air or fire with the eight of swords, more Gemini energy. We now have an emperor to the empress we had before. The empress who's waiting to build. This emperor is pretty stickety stuck. Okay, they're holding back a lot of their truth. A lot of their truth. A lot. God, how can they even function like this? Um, this, emperor, this emperor is the one who unzipped the connection. They're carrying a lot of guilt. Sorry, I'm just... Tapping in here. Just tapping in and looking at the cards. They're carrying a lot of guilt. A lot of guilt. And they're not saying it. They're not saying it. They want to they want to fix this. They want this. They want this as much as the Empress does, but they're afraid to take that jump. They're the ones who have to take the risk here. I feel like this Emperor will get to a point where they build up their confidence enough and break out of that Eight of Swords energy to just go for it, balls to the wall, and take that leap of faith. They like they want this connection too much to not do that, but they're they're taking their time because they're they're stuck. They're in eight of swords energy. They're stuck. Can't be very confident while you're in that energy. Once they get out of that, I think they're going to be coming for this empress pretty pretty fast. So it also wants to come out here. Talking about the three of swords in reverse. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> Talking about three of swords in reverse for Cancer. Mm, wow. So I got three of swords in reverse for cancer regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we have the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy with the queen of cups, Cancerian energy, cozy Pisces or Scorpio with the page of swords. This emperor has not taken their eyes off of this queen or this fe feminine energy. I feel like this is the empress here. They haven't taken their eyes off of them. But the devil in reverse, like I said, like unzipped, 
there's something about this that's been, you know, unzipped. It's been unrestricted. It's been, the chains have been broken in a, in a way. And with the devil in reverse, it's like usually that's release of toxicity. This queen feels the impact of that. And they don't like it. It's so interesting because like the queen is focusing on the unzipping of the connection. Well, this emperor is watching this queen deal with that. It doesn't feel toxic. It really doesn't. That's so interesting. It doesn't feel toxic. It could have been. It could have been a very codependent relationship. It could have been. And if it was, you already know. Or a codependent connection, you'd already know if that's the case. This queen thinks about it a lot because this queen's ready to build. I don't think this queen is like waiting. You know what I mean? And I've talked about waiting before, guys. Um, and I have no, I have a lot of newbies who haven't heard me talk about it. So... When I talk about waiting, I'm talking about waiting actively. I'm not talking about sitting on your butt, not doing anything, closing off all your doors and options to shit. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. Um, I'm talking about, all right, you do care about this person. It'd be nice if something could happen. You go and live your life. And if they take care of their shit and then they come back to, to work it out with you, fabulous. And if you're available, then fabulous. But it doesn't mean putting your life on hold. That's not what I mean by waiting. Okay. But this queen definitely hasn't stopped thinking about it definitely hasn't stopped thinking about it and this emperor has been watching the queen overall energy we have temperance <laughs> sagittarian energy my divine fix it angel it's a balancing it's a healing it's also a uh, divine guidance like i said i was kind of feeling that a little bit divinely guided to fix this divinely guided to heal this god i mean just look at these cards the intensity between these two is a little overwhelming okay do you see do you see it do you see that shit? How stuck this person is, how stuck in fear and, you know, stuck in regret, the burden of regret and wanting to fix it, wanting to go forward and just watching this queen in the midst of it, just watching this queen focusing on the fact that this connection's unzipped. Wow, it's intense. It's a little intense. But like I said, guys, the Semper really wants it. They want to go to where they're happy. And like I said, I think I do believe they, def they definitely went back to their past their ex or whoever, um, and it did not work out for them and they were not happy about it. Not happy about it. But there's a lot of love between these two. So like I always say, Cancer, you decide what's best for you, okay? And yes, it's Lazarus season. I know, I'm tired of these Lazarus stories too, okay? <laughs> I'm just the messenger. I just deliver what I get though, okay? All right, so let's get some advice. Hmm. Too many cards here, hold on. Just some scooch you all forward. Okay. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers I... regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice? Oh, Scorpio got this too yesterday. Skunk spirit, know your worth. 54 breaking down to a nine. Like I said, cancer, you are the masters of your own life. You decide what you want to do. It's all about what you know you deserve. Jesus, camera freaked out there. It's all about what you know you deserve, okay? Whatever you think that is, that's your decision, not mine. I'm not your mama, just the messenger. Any other advice for cancer regarding this spread? Any other advice for cancer regarding this spread? See here. Lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. 38 breaking down to an 11. And owl spirit, you see clearly now. I freaking love that card. 43 breaking down to a 7. This is like my high priestess card, which is Piscean energy. Also Gemini for me as a reader. This is seriously making something happen. I just feel man of like God, I really feel like it's about the connection. I really do. Um someone seeing this transpire. Someone's manifesting this. I feel like it's the emperor actually. 
feel like the emperor is manifesting this. I don't feel like this is the feminine's energy. I feel like the masculine energy is manifesting this because they feel like they deserve it because they're ready to be happy. But like I said, you only go after what you think you deserve. You only accept what you think you deserve. And that's on a person by person basis, okay? Again, your personal decision, not mine. There we go. Ah, of course, of course, Otter Spirit, you are never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. My two of cups lovers, six of cups soulmate card. We basically had all those cards come out except for the lovers card. This says, I got your back. You got my back. Very, very yummy little connection here. This is the zipper connection. And it's so funny. They kind of look a little bit like zippers, right? Like, ah, like the teeth of the zipper. I don't know. I, I can see teeth of zippers in this for some reason. Anyway, uh, yeah, very, very yummy connection right here. Okay. Again, you decide what you want and decide what's best for you. Any other advice for cancer? Grasshopper spirit, my full card. Take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. Taking that chance, taking that leap. This emperor knows that they have to take this risk. If they want to be happy, if they want to be free and all of that, they already know where their happy lies. They already know. They just they just know it's a risk to jump into it. But it looks like it's going to be a very soft landing. <laughs> just being honest, looks like it's going to be a very soft landing. Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Ooh. 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 It just got real intense with these two cards. <sighs> Whoa, it's almost making me hard to breathe. Lion Spirit. Be generous of spirit, energy of 37, cyclical energy, and panther spirit. Reclaim your power. 44, which is a bastard number. I feel like these are both sides. I feel like this is the masculine energy and the feminine energy. It feels really intense, doesn't it? I just feel a whole lot of power coming from both of these people. Because like I said, this masculine energy, once they gain the confidence here and get out of that eight of swords energy, they're going to be walking tall, walking confident, and very ready to go ahead and get this shit started and take that risk. Very powerful. This feminine, feminine energy is already very powerful, okay? Already very powerful. And I do feel one that's very aggressive and one that's very receptive here. But both have, are carrying a lot of power and a lot of weight in their energy. So it's almost like, um, it almost feels like a standoff, but it's not. Just because both have such strong energy. I'll let you guys take another look at that. I, if it'll focus. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this panther spirit is the one that's going to be more aggressive and this lion spirit is going to be more receptive here. Almost like ta like not taking a step back, just like sitting back and receiving the information, receiving the energy. The panther spirit is going to be proactive, aggressive even. But it's interesting because panther is very feminine. Panther is a very feminine energy and the lion is very masculine, okay? It feels a little bit like a DMDF situation. For those who don't know what that is, a divine masculine, a divine feminine situation. It feels a little bit like that here. But it's interesting that I see the female as being more aggressive here than the male. Because I know the male is the one who's going to take, ah, ow. Because the masculine energy is the one that's going to be taking action here. There could be a, a needing to switch roles. Again, you decide what you want to do here, Cancer, but I, I, can't, I can't get away from that. I can't get away from that. This panther is definitely going to be the one pouncing, and this lion's going to be the one receiving. The feminine energy has been sitting back for quite some time now, quite some time. I think there's going to be a switching of roles or switching of energies, a switching of energies. There's going to be a switching of energies here. And that might be exactly what's needed to balance out the situation. Must be, yeah, they just said yes. So decide what you want to do here, okay? <laughs> decide what you want to do. This masculine energy will probably still come forward, but in doing so is going to put the ball in the, fe in the feminine's court. Again, we're talking energies, not gender. Putting the ball in the feminine's court, and they're the ones who are going to take action on this. And whatever the verdict is, the masculine energy will receive that verdict. Okay, so you got me? Masculine, masculine energy will approach. It'll be up to the feminine what the feminine wants to do. And the feminine will have to be proactive and aggressive in deciding that and delivering that message of yay or nay, essentially. Okay. But it's interesting, like very powerful, very alpha. Both people are very alpha here. I just can't stop looking at the eyes. I can't stop looking at the eyes. And you notice how one is looking straight on that aggressor, that feminine energy. And the other one is kind of like cocked to the, 
cock to the side a little a little bit like <laughs> cock to the side a little bit there I'm just noticing that there's some there's something there and I'm like why am I not picking up on it directly there's something there with the straight on look versus the side eye the side eye it's not shame her I just heard some of you guys go oh there must be ashamed they're already burned they're already burdened by regret they already have that they already have that but there's something about the way these two look at each other like face to face there's something about the way these two look at each other for some of you, this masculine energy might be a tiny bit intimidated by this feminine, just a little bit, like when they're looking at each other face to face. The feminine sees right through the masculine. They see right through the masculine. I'm loving this energy. I'm like, I'm getting lost in it. I know I'm spending a lot of time on it, but I'm getting really lost in it. It's, it's, it's oddly powerfully yummy. It's oddly powerfully yummy. I'm just going to let you guys look at that a little bit more for your for your own intuitive purposes there, okay? I'm also noticing the ordainment on her on her head. See, I haven't said her. It's like it just feels very feminine. It almost looks like a crown, doesn't it? Hi. It almost looks like a crown. Mm, interesting. Over energy. Spider spirit. Make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. Govern another manifestation energy. Another manifestation, and I'm actually looking at the colors here, lower chakra colors and the upper chakra colors. It's going to take total attunement with each other and alignment to come together, to put the zipper back zipped up, <laughs> to close the hoodie, essentially here. But a lot of manifestation is going on, and I do feel like it's from the Empress end. Um, I feel like the Empress just manifests willy-nilly, like manifests shit without even trying. Oh, shit. I there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Um... I feel like this Empress energy already manifests pretty well willy-nilly, like without even trying. But this masculine energy, I feel like is actively trying to manifest their way out of this Eight of Swords energy in order to come forward towards the feminine. And like I said, once they do, there's going to be a switching of energies where this feminine will be more proactive and aggressive in giving a response or an answer to this masculine energy. But this feminine energy sees right through this masculine. Sees right through them. Right through them. And it is interesting because like I said, like I just realized that because the um, the feminine energy has that 44 energy, a master number, while this masculine energy is in a cyclical energy going through cycles, learning lessons. There is a little bit of a hierarchy kind of thing going on here, but these two feel very alpha, feel very close to being equals, but there's something and there's no one's better than anyone else. But I'm just saying this feminine energy seems like they're a lot more, a lot further along on their spiritual path or their spiritual growth and their mastery, their mastery. That's what it is. Their mastery interesting okay all right cancers anyway let's not get lost in that anymore <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this and again it's up to you if you whatever you want to do you know your worth you know what you deserve both of you emperors and empresses okay i'll see you guys later have a great night cancers namaste